Okay, so we've got this function, which is um, uh, a radioactive substance, which has a half-life of 50 days. So it's uh, assumed that the radioactive substance decays exponentially. So let's write our standard formula, A equals A0 times E to the KT, and it's got a half-life of 50 days. So we know that E to the 50 times K equals 0 0.5. Okay, so that's what we show. So we've got this function um, here, and uh, this substance starts off at some value up here, and it decays. And we know that after 50 days, it's reached half its value. So, yeah, so that's 0 0.5 of the initial value. We don't know what that is, but it's come down to 50%, and that's taken 50 days. I okay, guess so that's a bit of information that we're given. So from that, we can work out K. So plug it into your calculator, and K equals minus... Yep, so it's negative, which is good, because that means it's decaying, and that's what we want. And so formula is A equals E to the minus 0 0.0139T. Okay, so what did it ask us to find out? Find the initial amount of the substance. Oops, this is A0 here. Okay, so um, that's our formula. Um, now we need to find out the initial value of the substance. So the second bit of information that we're given is that after 20 days... Um, 30 grams is left. Okay, so um, when we come down to 20 days, we've got 30 grams left, so we know that uh, when t equals 10, 20, um, the a value is 30. So let's plug that back into this function here, and we get that 30 equals A0, which we still don't know, times E to the minus 0 0.0139 times 20. Um, and now we can plug that into the cal calculator, and we get the initial value is around about 40 grams, let's say 39.6 grams.